welcome back to my channel. Time to review something or more or less hunting. I don't really care. I got my new HME game hoist today. Uh, I got it the other day. I finally put it together. Thing almost reaches the top of my ceiling and it has a weight capacity of 400 pounds for a deer. I ain't never get nothing over 150 probably, but I like it. It has a nice little knife tray right here. The hoist system in which all you do is step in here, crank it a little bit, loosen it up. Yeah, hopefully. I gotta figure this thing out again. I just got it. Yeah, come on. There it goes. So I can come down here. Look at this, man. Put my deer in here. Flip the lever. It might go on there. Why don't you take a deal? <laughs> anyway, we come with the safety cables. Came in a nice box. Free delivery as always. And uh, just another tool for me to get ready to start processing my own deer. Uh, we're going to get the meat grinder. I'm going to get a metal table in here. I got an air conditioner in here, which you could probably hear, so I can keep this thing down to 64 degrees to keep your meat. Plastic on the floor for the blood if it drips, and I'm gonna get me one of them big red, uh, round black buckets, and I'll put the plastic in there, and then I'll just hang my deer over that and let it sit for a couple days, and then break out the table, and we'll quarter it and cut it all up, get ready for sausages. I've been watching YouTube videos left and right on how to make sausages, how to make breakfast sausages, or summer sausage, breakfast sausage, burgers, uh, the steaks, the rumps. Uh, I mean, I'm studying hard because $170 to process my deer the other day was kind of expensive. And then I seen the other guy that, that was referred to me on YouTube here. And I uh, can't remember the video's name, but I've watched three of them since. And the meat they got out of there, he had a smaller deer than I did. And he had more meat. So I don't know what to process. And then he had big piles for burger. But then again, I got eight summer sausages that are really fantastic. Now comes the hard part, figuring out what spices and recipes that I can buy that I might like. So let's take a closer look at this HME Game Hoist. I guess we'll start at the top, and it's almost at the top of my ceiling. And I got some high ceilings down here, and it comes on down. And of course, like I said, you have the hoist cranks it up in the lever. It's so brand new that I gotta get, yeah, you just push up on it and unlock, so, right? And then I guess this little tray right here, that's kind of hold my knives and stuff. It's pretty nifty. Down at the bottom, it's got some flat legs and of course the cable that runs across. That's the downfall with this and how to hook that cable in there. It kind of sucks because it doesn't lock. So it's just kind of like there. So I'm gonna figure out some way to modify that maybe and, uh, keep them locked in there somehow because right now they don't lock worth the darn. They just sit in that slot and they come out if you move the stand. But like I said, you can get a size of that damn thing. Now you gotta remember, I'm only 5'10", 5'10 and a half. So in comparison, start. I'm gonna give you a sample here. I just picked up my wife's cousin here and we used the sling and I'm gonna copy his video and put it on here. And once again, appreciate it, but if we just load tested it, He's probably about a buck 45, which is probably the normal weight around here for a deer anyway. So, thank you, and we'll talk to you later. Yeah, got it? Right on down. Got it? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Gotta go in that slot. Just keep going. Get it in that slot. I'm gonna take it all the way up. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. So in comparison, if I'm 5'10", right here, this thing's gotta be nine feet tall, at least, in a 400 pound cat capacity. I don't do pull-ups. I'm hanging on this thing right now. Uh, it's just, it's just, so, it's got a lot on it. It's just stretching, it's a new cable. So I gotta let it all the way out and bring it back up. But, I'm not putting a lot of force on there either. I'm gonna lay the whole cable out, and I think, 
and pull it in neatly and tight because I just got it, like I said, and it's packed. But I wanted to clue you in on it that we are starting the process of doing our own deer. So part of my hunting channel, besides feeders and everything else that I'm learning, is now I gotta learn to pull the skin off and do all that stuff. I got the knives, trust me. But my friend Bob, he has that, uh, the edge kit. I'm gonna get that because it has the saw and everything that you need and all that good stuff. So as I get closer, if you got ideas, hey, shoot them at me because I could really use them. And I do value everybody that comments on me. I will say thank you. I will reply to you as soon as I can see them at all possible. If I miss you, I do apologize. Uh, I don't have that big of a fan mail. I think I was 470 subscribers now. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Even if you don't subscribe and you comment, I will answer your questions or receive feedback telling me, hey, George, you might want to try this or hey, George, you might want to try that. And if it works, I'm going to use it. Trust me. I watched the guy build a, a, a target stand. I built one and I've watched the other guys teach me how to dress out the deer more. Kind of late at 63, but once again, I came from a military family and we were always moving. My mom and dad really, once they left New York, uh, they never really got into hunting anymore. So kind of left us out in the cold. I see some of my other people that grew up and their dads hunt, their grandfathers hunted, and they all hunt together as a family. They got 200 acres out here and they're hunting as a family. Talked to a guy the other day. He says, hey, I hunt. I hunt on my dad's property. He's got 200, 300 acres over here. And, I go out there and shoot my deer and come on back, you know. Hey, I didn't have that as a kid. Mine was, we're going out to California, we went to Cuba, we went to Taiwan, we went everywhere. So staying in one spot and hunting and carrying guns. My dad only had the 38 revolver. That's the only gun in the house that he would keep. He bought me a 30-30 once. Uh, I can't remember what happened to that. I think I gave it to my son. I'm not sure whatever I did with that thing. But anyway, bottom line is, everything here is going good and uh, Hopefully, we'll get hunting and process my own deer. All right, talk to you later. Thank you for subscribing. If you like me, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Let me know anything you got going on the bottom, all right? Thank you, and let's start hunting again.